Hello, people of God. Okay. I'm bringing you a few quick words. I'm going to try my best to be quick. But at the same time, I'm bringing you quick words of confirmation. Confirmation on a few videos that I've done previously. I'm going to put the links to the bottom as well. And I love it when God does stuff, right? When God gives me something. And, of course, you all know sometimes... You kind of question yourself a little bit afterwards, but then when you get confirmation from somebody else or you get confirmation about his word from another um, prophetess or prophet, you like, oh my gosh, thank you, Lord God, for confirmation. So this lady, and I'll put her link to the bottom as well, the link to um, her different um, prophetic words. And it's also, I'm telling you, it's a blessing. You should sub subscribe to her newsletter, to her newsletters as well. So the name of this one, I'm not going to read her, her whole thing because it's long. It says, Daughters of God, there is a whole new realm of discernment opening up before you. Position yourselves before him. And this is by um, Prophetess Lana Vosser. I believe I'm pronouncing her name correctly. So again, I'm not going to read everything. But this is what the Lord told me to read. So I'm um, paraphrasing some of the stuff she has. It says, for the past few years, I have seen in the spirit of intimidation coming against the daughters of God fiercely and in an intensely, intensity, intensity, sorry, <laughs> like I've never seen before. In the place of the battle with the spirit, the Lord has been training his daughters to walk by faith. And if y'all look in my previous video, especially one that I just did, I was talking about how the Lord showed me a springboard and how in order for us to be able to come off of that springboard and leap into the next and leap into the next dimension on what it is that God has for us is going to take faith. So that's the first confirmation with that. And then she goes on to say to press into his heart and his truth and developing the revelation of their identity. There has been significant breakthrough that has taken place for many daughters of God. Then recently she's saying this. I saw this spirit of intimidation come back again, but this time fiercer than before. The time this time it was screaming louder and pushing harder. But in the battle, I heard the voice of the Lord thunder over their lives. And again, this just goes into what it is that God has for his children. Of course, she's speaking specifically to the daughters of Christ, but she's also talking about the confirmation on what it is that God has given us as daughters of Christ, as children of Christ, and how the enemy tries to just um, sneak in certain ways and come in harder than before, but we have to recognize it and put the enemy in his place, right? So this is another one I'm um, paraphrasing, same um, title and everything, and I'll put the link again to the bottom. And it, she says daughters of God, you are being invited into a realm of greater discernment than you have ever walked in. And she says, I had a vision and I saw Jesus standing before the daughters of God and he spoke, quote unquote, come with me. And I began to see one woman after another step forward and take his hand and the Lord also showed me a vision that I sent to my speakers for the women's conference that as we were bowing down on um, worshiping Jesus, he was just placing a crown over our head. Like, just think about that, being a daughter of God. And he just like just place, placing a crown on your head. Just think about it. Just being like a child or a, a, a young lady or whatever. And I've never had it happen to me yet, but I plan on buying me a crown. Um, just think about being a princess or whatever it is, whether whatever it is you celebrate or if it's a birthday or whatever celebration, just think about when your parents or somebody put a crown on your head. Doesn't it make you like stand up and have a little more poise or have a little more confidence, have a little more, I'm not going to say attitude because I don't want it to be like a bad attitude, but you have just a little more self-confidence. So think about our king putting a crown on our head. That was such a powerful vision. And when she said this, 
it brought me to such confirmation and again i'll put that link to the bottom as well in regards to the conference that god has god has been telling me to do for years and i'm just stepping up to the plate to do it i'm i'm being obedient i've been walking in obedience oh my gosh like way more this year in 2019 and i just can't wait to see the 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 extended things that God is going to do going into 2020. But anyway, the confirmation for this upcoming conference that I have is called the Golden Conference and it's called Living Your Life Like It's Golden. And of course, I'm going to put her link to the bottom. Jill Scott um, sings the song Living Your Life Like It's Golden. And I love it because God gave me the title first. Then the song came to my mind afterwards. So it, it, it also goes into Esther dealing with Esther 8 and 4 um when the king handed her the golden scepter and then she stood and then she she stood and she rose so just like I said if you think about when somebody places a crown on your head a crown is just made with beauty and 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 such elegancy and if somebody places a crown on your head it just make you again like I'm telling you it does something even though it's a physical thing Think about right now that God is placing a crown on your head. Just think about that. Think about that in the spirit. I just want you to close your eyes and I just want you to dwell right now and close your eyes. And I just want you to just dwell on Jesus placing a crown on your head. Whether you're a male or a female, we are all joint heirs of Christ and we have been adopted into the sonship of Christ. So this right here is such confirmation. And it also made me think as well in Esther 4 and 14, where Mordecai tells Esther, well, how do you know that you didn't come to this place for such a time as this? So I'm telling y'all now is the time. And, and this is just such confirmation. Like I said, I'm not reading everything, but I'm going to read the rest of this right now. And she have, they sat down in, at Jesus' feet. This is the vision she had at Jesus' feet. And it reminds me of Luke 10 and 39, learning from him. As he spoke, his truth was flowing forth. I was watching an importation being released. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? It's so much confirmation and so much meat in this word this lady just gave. And if you go back again to some of my videos, I think I have three parts on release three parts on release and God gave brought a song to my memory yesterday um my previous dance ministry and I we danced to this song called release release the glory and I'll put that to the bottom as well release the glory and and it just makes me think on how our father is not just hearing our cry physically spiritually and you know mentally but God is also answering us so again, as I posted before, don't be quick to, to be looking for a word from a single person. Because I'm telling y'all, God has been speaking to me, not just through people. God has been speaking to me through signs. God has been speaking to me, I wish I had it in front of me, through simple things like a bag of tea. I went to a conference last weekend. I don't remember last weekend or two weekends ago in Texas. It was such a blessing, such a blessing. Shout out to Carolyn Dejan and Woven Strong Conference. Yes, Women of Valor. But the T had Roar written on it. Roar. And I'm telling y'all, that's that's such significance. I don't have everything on that yet. But God has been showing me a lion in the spirit. And I'm telling y'all, the lion is roaring like you just don't know. But anyway, at the end of this, Lana Varsa has, has, their eyes were blazing as fire, stronger and stronger. And I heard the words thundering around me, eyes of eagles. My God, this is another confirmation for a video. Um, what I did, I think during the summertime that God was telling me the eagle has landed, that God was showing me different things about an eagle. And I'm telling y'all, this is a blessing, a blessing. And she has, I knew that the Lord was extending vision. He was bringing clarity and the revelation of the word of God and being anchored in him and his word. I am telling you all, this is another video that I did previously where the Lord was telling me we can see clearer now. 
we see clearer now because we won't fall for the things that the enemy had us to fall for in the past. It just won't take place and it won't happen anymore because we know how to handle ourselves and we have been maturing and we have been stretching our faith and God has been giving us everything that we need for the things that we have been going through so we can see clearer now we have that 2020 vision right meaning i can have 2020 vision without these eyeglasses because in the spirit god is giving us that 2020 vision and again we have to live our lives under the obedience of abba our creator we have to live our lives just like my conference say live our lives like it's golden we know that jesus is on his way back but yet every day people are still living like it doesn't matter or living like it's a thousand years from now or 20 years from now we don't know it could be five minutes from now it could be um, tomorrow it could be next year we don't know but guess what if Jesus haven't came back by the time this conference comes then I know that this conference is going to be a blessing because everything that he has been strategically giving me even down to the hotel and I can't wait to give a big testimony on that God is so good we have to listen to him. We have to look to him for everything. Again, not just from a person with confirmation. It could be in a simple thing like a tea. It could be in a bag of candy. It was even in a pack of Oreos, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I buy these Oreo cookies all the time. Never paid attention, really, that the uh, Oreo cookies say golden, right? So my conference, Golden Conference 2020. So it's so many little things. And again, I love how our Father Abba, our Creator, gives us such confirmation on so many different things. So it's it's just a blessing it's such a blessing and so the lord told me he is doing like the abc's right you know like when you do different things and if we take a test in school we know we've studied for the test but then when we take the test it's like we 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 have confidence but then we feel like a little nervous at the same time but we shouldn't let that nervousness overtake us but then we know we've passed the test but we still waiting on that confirmation like for that piece of paper to come that says a plus or b plus because we want to see it right that's like the things of god we want to see the manifestation we want to see the promises that come to pass and they will come to past y'all oh my gosh i'm believing my family is believing for such supernatural things to begin to take place and today is only monday and i believe that i am coming back to y'all real real soon today is monday i think 11 for 2019 and i know that i'm coming back <laughs> with a big testimony but god says the abcs and i want to say this correctly the lord says abc the a is for anointing of Abba. We have to have the anointing of our Heavenly Father. The B is for breakthrough. The breakthrough is on the brink. Like I'm telling y'all, it's like like my hand so close to my mouth the breakthrough is right there it you are on the brink of a breakthrough and the c is for a change that is coming and i'm gonna say that again and i'm telling y'all oh i love oh i love the holy spirit because the this is not something I even pondered on. I was just writing and it just simply just came with ease with my ink pen. I'm telling y'all. So Abba is bringing forth the change. He's bringing forth the ABCs. He's bringing forth the anointing. We have to have the anointing. He's bringing forth the body of Christ change. There's going to be change, y'all. I'm telling y'all. So again, I'm going to put this lady link to the bottom. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. It's Lana Vosser. I quoted different things from her. And it's just been confirmation after confirmation. God is so good. And I know, again, that I am coming back because we can see clearer. Now the rain is going right. And I'm going to put the link to the bottom with all of those different um, previous videos I've done with this confirmation um, with this lady it's just been oh my gosh I, I just don't even have words I just want to tell y'all hold on hold on and I just want to do a quick prayer for you all and I'm not going to close my eyes because I am sitting like in a public parking space 
Um, Heavenly Father, we come to you right now to say thank you. Lord God, I thank you for every single person, Lord God, that has been um, following this YouTube channel, that has been being blessed by this YouTube channel. And I thank you for giving me strength, Lord God, to be obedient to your word and carrying out your word. I ask right now in the, G in the name of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, every single person, Lord God, that is in need of confirmation from you, that you would give them clarity, you would give them revelation, you would give them confirmation, Lord God, not just, Lord God, in the way they're looking for it, but give it to them, Lord God, in spontaneous different ways, Lord God. I declare and decree, Lord God, that you would allow your daughters, you would allow your sons, Lord God, to begin to walk into the calling and the purpose that you have in their lives. I declare and decree, Lord God, that nothing will hold them back, Lord God, from the way they were held back in the past. I declare and decree release, Lord God. You would allow them to see your vision clearer than ever before. You would allow them to see further than ever before. You would give them the blueprints. You would give them the wisdom. You would give them the pure knowledge that they need to move forward in the purpose and the calling you have for them. I declare and decree, Lord God, that they will begin to not only hear about your promises, but they will see your promises come to pass. I ask in the name of Jesus that you would allow them, Lord God, to be downloaded, Lord God, with your word. Your word says life and death is in the power of the tongue. I speak in the name of Jesus, Lord God, wisdom. I speak in the name of Jesus, Lord God, increase, Lord God, increase in their minds, Lord God, increase in their faith, Lord God, increase in knowledge, increase in wisdom, increase in what they need, Lord God, because you said you have given us power to gain wealth. And I ask in the name of Jesus that you would give them the wisdom and everything that they need so that they can gain the wealth themselves. I declare and decree manifestation over all of our lives. I declare and decree, Lord God, that you would help us to be kingdom builders. You will help us to use the wisdom, the knowledge that you have given us, Lord God, so that we can do everything you have called us to do, Lord God, to build your kingdom. And I thank you right now, Yahweh. Your word says, with thanksgiving, Lord God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in the mighty name of Yeshua, Christ the Messiah. Amen. Bless y'all. Grace and mercy.